I want to start off by telling you, yes, I know this isn't the normal type of video you'd see on my channel. Most people see my channel as a meme channel and are probably confused on why a gaming video all of a sudden popped up. Well, my name is Meme Temple, meaning my channel is a, a temple. According to my channel description, I have all sorts of meme content on my channel, including surreal memes, gaming memes, long memes, short memes, good memes, bad memes, and well, uh, th this is different. I promise that my channel will stick to the content that 99% of the people came here for, but it's not, it's not bad to change stuff up a little. Anyways, welcome to a new series that I will be making. FYI, this series will not take over my channel, so don't expect these videos to be uploaded often. Called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Pacifist Run, a completely original idea that was not inspired by Dark Viper AU. You know something that's funny? Not funny, didn't laugh. I will be playing San Andreas while killing the least amount of people possible. If I am required to kill someone, I have to kill him with a melee weapon, and if I can't do that, I have to kill him with the weakest gun possible. I also can't accidentally kill anybody on the street, you know, if I like, run over them on accident, you know, before or during the mission. Trying to beat the game with a lot of killing without killing takes a lot of patience and thinking for obvious reasons. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I don't know why, but I, I started recording videos about 9 missions in, meaning that I don't have any footage of my pacifist runs on any earlier missions. If this series does well, and you guys want to see me restart and go through the pain just to show the whole game, I will. For now, I will start off with this mission that I did for the video. Also, I want to apologize if my mic is super quiet. I will add subtitles <laughs> to show what I am saying. Anyways, on the first mission, I am supposed to steal some ammo from an ammo train. Unfortunately, there was already another gang stealing ammo too. Me, Lance, and for some reason a few more of my gang members were all shooting at the other guys stealing the ammo. As a friendly pacifist, I would have waited for all the bad guys to get killed, and then I would carry on with the mission with success. Off camera, I actually found a small bug where I could distract one of the guys on the train and disable him from shooting any of my team. Instead, he would just stand there and watch all of his team getting destroyed by my team. We like Fortnite! We like Fortnite! We like- Unfortunately, the only person he could shoot was me, meaning that every time I got in his line of sight, he would start shooting at me. So I hid and let my team easily kill him, since all he would do is stand there. After around 20 minutes of waiting, I realized that this guy was just eating all the bullets and all the shots and he just would not get killed. So I got up and started running around to see if he could get shot if he was shooting me since he was all bugged out. During that attempt, I noticed that some of my team kept hiding behind the car. I thought if I blew up the car, they would move away from it or not hide behind it anymore. So I went to get more ammo for my gun so I could shoot the car, light it on fire, so it would give my team time to move before it exploded and killed them. Getting the ammo was extremely annoying because how bad CJ is at driving. <sighs> what you want, fool? I got the ammo, started the mission again, and started shooting the car. Halfway through, none of my team was hiding behind the car, giving me the perfect chance to explode it the fast way. Oh no. After thinking that I could destroy his car for some reason, I had another plan in mind. My plan was to shoot a cop and see if I could possibly get the cop to accidentally shoot the invincible man while trying to shoot at me. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, bro. Ah. Dude. What? <laughs> Did they just not do anything? Yo. Hey. Hello? Yo, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm wanted, I'm but... Watch where you're going. Hey, come, dude. Oh. For some odd reason, the cops started chasing me once I got shot by another random civilian. I don't even know why the civilian shot me either. I... I'm gonna take you down. Oh my god. Oh, huh? Hey. Wait, oh, now the police are doing something. Oh, how am I gonna get the police to shoot him? During my next desperate attempt, I wanted to see how far I could go until my mission failed. How far can I go until uh, my mission fail? Oh my gosh, I can go far. I soon realized that I could literally go as far as I wanted and the mission wouldn't fail as long as Lance stay alive. How far can I go? I'm Are you stupid? Good. Learning that I could go as far as I wanted, I had the genius idea of getting more of my gang members to help me defeat the undefeated, unkillable guy. I was disappointed to see that the game completely removes all of your gang members once the mission is started. Ah, there's no one? I then made a failed attempt to get random NPCs to help me, and none of them budged. Hey, you wanna help? No? What's happening? <laughs> so I gave up looking and went back to the scene and thought of any possible solutions. So I shot the guy to see if I could get some damage off of him and killed him. That's not the way I wanna go, man. Once again, I failed the mission, and I once again thought of another genius plan that will most likely end up working. I got two of my gang members to help me fight, and then started the mission. Sadly, the car I was driving could only carry two people, so I had to think of ways I could get my two extra gang members with me. Here are my solutions. I'm gonna try this in two different ways, alright? Hey baby, you nearly finished that, man, Damn. The first way, uh is coming back and getting them but i don't i don't know if they respawn the second way would be to go super slow with my car so they can follow me by walking so i went with the more obvious and logical plan by leaving them and hoping they don't despawn hey homies you wait here okay yeah wait there all right i'll do this so i came back and uh well I tested my patience by letting them follow me all the way there. I do gotta say I am proud of them for putting in the exercise. There's like no way. Since I don't want to make another unfunny and unoriginal joke about how my failed plans are genius plans, I'm just going to admit now that all my plans have sucked and there are a couple more terrible plans left. My next garbage plan was to just not bring Lance into the mission at all. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's move on. Bust the ass shoes on. Out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, I'll kill you oh, I... oh, this is never. It's all good now. Did I kill him? Oh, that's not... oh, that's not... I can get away from this. Oh, I forgot where I was going. It failed so bad that even my own gang member purposely shot one of his other gang members. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
What just happened? Sh shot his own first? My trials and errors led me to the sad conclusion that this guy was invincible and I had to kill him. Since I didn't want to use my gun or my fists, I instead sprayed him to death with my spray paint. The reason I used spray paint instead of my fists is because his face would be all covered in paint and it would remind me of my childhood, whenever I would get my face painted, back whenever life was actually fun and I was happy. So I killed that guy and the mission finally progressed. So, I'm so sad I had to do that. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. <gasps> I, there's more? Oh. Instantly after I broke my pacifist ways, before I could even think about falling into a deep depression because I killed a man with a loving mom and dad who will soon find out about his passing and will break down crying, four more bad guys came and started shooting at us. Instantly after that, before I could even think of another plan, Lance died. He died right away. To keep Lance's health as high as possible, I left him behind and I let my own gang members shoot the whole team while I killed Superman and then bring him back so the mission would continue. Then I would let the team kill the new members. Simple enough, right? Wait, don't, 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 don't kill me. Hey, I'm in a scene. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. While watching that plan go down the drain, I noticed that two of the new members would also not die and were invincible. Thankfully, the two first members could die without me helping. I assumed that they were also invincible, so I decided to kill them too. I had to kill them with a pistol due to the fact that I didn't have enough health to melee them before I got shot to death. Don't wait, don't do don't do it, don't do it. I'm so sorry, I had to. At last, we were able to get on the ammo train, and coincidentally, we got on it just on time because it started moving once I killed those last men. The last thing I had to do before the mission ended was to throw some ammo crates to Lance. Knowing that I didn't have to waste any other completely innocent civilian, I knew it would be nice and easy. No! We're already missing two more. No! Okay, well... Oh, shit! How did he catch that? I finally, completely passed the mission, but sadly, had to waste three people. After many trials and errors, I, I had to. I had the patience, and I had the time, but I still had the kill. The mission ended off with one spray paint kill, and two gun kills. So, that was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Pacifist Run Part 1. I hope everybody enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a comment letting me know if you want more of the series. If it does well, I, I will continue. Plus, if you do have any tips or any ways I could kill less people, let me know. Please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, uh, be happy.